Hello, I am Abdul Rahim, a nine pointer from IIT Bombay. In this video, we will be solving some questions from ordinary differential equations. These are actually questions from a quiz that was conducted only based on some initial topics from ordinary differential equations. I have solved the initial four questions in some earlier videos. In this video, we will be solving the fifth question. Okay, now let's get started with the question. Solve the IVP dy by dx equal to 1 by 6 e raised to y minus 2x and it's an IVP right so it should have some boundary condition also that is actually here given y of 2 equal to 0 uniquely for x belong to 2 minus epsilon to 2 plus epsilon for some positive epsilon note that this solution y of x in fact solves the differential equation for any x positive now among the options given below answer is closest to y of 40 is the answer closest to y of 40. Okay, so we have to find from 1, 3, 5, 7, whichever is closest to y of 40. In order to calculate y of 40, definitely we have to calculate what y is. So we will have to solve this differential equation. Okay, so let me first of all just rewrite the differential equation. It is dy by dx equal to 1 by 6 e raised to y minus 2x. This is the given differential equation. Okay. Now, first of all, let me just convert this into the standard form. Okay, now when I multiply this term to this side, that would become 6e raised to y minus 2x into dy by dx and taking that 1, it will become a minus 1, right? Plus minus 1 equal to 0. This is the form of the differential equation. This is not variable variable in first shot. Okay, so we can't go by that method then which methods are left we can go by exact equation right so first of all let me just check whether this is closed in order to actually check if this is exact or not okay now yeah i will consider its derivative this part's derivative with respect to y okay so del del y of minus one that is actually zero okay let me find the derivative with respect to x or other part that is 6 e raised to y minus 2x. This is coming out to be 6 e raised to y will be considered as just a constant. So the partial derivative of minus 2x will be simply minus 2. And on one side it is 0 and one side it is minus 2. Which means this is not an exact differential equation in the form it is given. Okay. Now what we have to do? We can try some integrating factor. Okay. Then what is integrating factor? It's a function in x and y which when multiplied by the differential equation converts this into an exact equation. So what are the standard methods? There are some standard equations which can help us to find the integrating factor under some conditions. Okay. So one equation is d mu divided by dx equal to my minus nx divided by n into mu. Okay. Here mu is our integrating factor. Suppose this term, this term inside bracket, bracket is coming out to be as only a function of x, then we can proceed with this equation. Okay, but what is that term inside? What is m subscript y? That is actually the partial derivative of m with respect to y. But what is this m? The differential equation in standard form is m plus n y prime equal to zero. Okay, now the partial derivative of this m with respect to y minus partial derivative of this n with respect to x divided by n. If that is only a function of x, we can use this equation to solve for mu and that mu will act as a integrating factor for the given ODE. Okay, similarly we have an equation corresponding to y also that is d mu divided by dy equal to nx minus my divided by m into mu okay if this function the function inside this bracket if that comes out to be just a function of y then we can solve this equation by variable separable method and find a mu and use that as the integrating factor okay now let's check both in this case okay so first of all let me just calculate this my minus nx divided by n my minus nx divided by n but for that, what is m and what is n in the given question? In the given question, m is minus 1 and n is 6e raised to y minus 2x. Okay. Now, let me calculate this. What is m y partial derivative with respect to y? So, the derivative of y will be simply 0 minus. What will be the derivative of n with respect to just x? 
six zero two will be considered as the constant, and we will have minus two from that minus two x term. All divided by n. N is actually six e raised to y minus two x. Okay, this is actually equal to two by six e raised to y minus two x. Right. So this is what we got when we calculated the term within that brackets. Is it just a function of x? No. We needed it to be just a function of x. Then only we can proceed with that equation. In this case, that's not so. So we can try out the next thing. That is, let us calculate n x divided by m y divided by m. That will be equal to what is n x? N x is partial derivative of that n with respect to x, which is minus two, and minus partial derivative of one with respect to y, which is zero. All divided by what was our m? It was simply minus one. So this is actually giving us a number two. Can I consider this as just a function of y? Yes, constant function. Yeah, I can consider that as just a function of x. It is not dependent on x. Okay, so I can use this equation, the equation corresponding to y, to calculate the integrating factor. So what was our equation? d mu divided by x equal to what our is inside this bracket, which I have simplified to be two into mu. Okay, let me solve this differential equation very easy. d mu divided by mu equal to 2dx. This is a variable separable equation. Just integrate on both sides. We will have ln mod mu equal to 2x. Okay. Now there is no need of the constant because we are trying to find the integrating factor. Okay. The integrating factor is not single. There are many possible integrating factors, but one of them is enough for us to solve the question. So for that purpose, we will not use that constant c. Okay. We will simply solve with this part only. Okay, now what will be our mu? Mu will be e raised to so a two x, which is our integrating factor. So we have found the integrating factor, which will help us to solve the differential equation. So just me, let me just again rewrite that uh, differential equation: minus one plus six e raised to y minus two x into dy by dx equal to zero, multiplying by e raised to my multiplying by e raised to two y on both sides because. That was the integrating factor which we found out. So one will become e raised to two y, and six e raised to y will be converted into six e raised to three y, and minus two x will be converted to minus two x e raised to two y into dy by dx. That is equal to zero only. Okay. Now we have multiplied an integrating factor, which means this equation will be an exact equation, right? Yes, this is an exact equation. So there should be some function u of x comma y such that del u del x is equal to minus e raised to two y and del u del y should be equal to six e raised to three y minus two x e raised to two y. If we find this function u u of x y is equal to any constant is the solution for the given differential equation. So we will find the solution in that way. Okay. So let's just try. So from these two equations, let's just try to find that function u. Del u will be equal to minus e raised to y del x. Okay, if I integrate on this on integration gives u of x comma y equal to minus x e raised to two y because we are integrating only with respect to x. Then plus constant that constant will be in general a function of y because we are integrating only with respect to x and we are neglecting the y term. Okay, so the extra term is a function of y. Now, once we have got this u function, let us partially di differentiate it with respect to y. Okay, then minus x will be as it is, but e raised to two y on differentiation gives two e raised to two y plus k of y one while differentiating will be converted to k prime of y. Let's just compare this first equation and this second equation. Okay, is there any real difference? Yes. In place of k prime of y in the second part, we have actually Six e raised to three y. So from this on integration on both sides, we will get k of y is equal to six into e raised to three y divided by three. That is equal to two e raised to three y. Again, I am not considering the constant because in integrating factor while finding the integrating factor, we just need one. Also, we will be considering and constant while writing the entire solution as u of x y is equal to c. So there is no need of two constants. So let me just ignore the constant here. And we have found the k of y to be two e raised to three y. So our final u function u of x y will be equal to u of x y is equal to minus x e raised to two y plus two e raised to three y. Okay. Once we find this u function, what is the general solution? The solution for the differential equation is u x y equal to c. 
That is minus x e raised to 2y plus 2 e raised to 3y equal to c. The question actually doesn't give a simple differential equation. It actually gave us an IVP. There was an initial value given. It was given that y of 2 is actually equal to 0. So I can substitute 0 in place of y and 2 in place of x. So that will give minus 2 into e raised to 0 plus 2 into e raised to 0 equal to c. Which means minus 2 plus 2 equal to c which gives c equal to 0. So we have find the actual solution of the IVP as minus x e raised to 2y plus 2 e raised to 3y equal to 0. That is 2 e raised to 3y equal to x e raised to 2y. That means e raised to y is equal to x by 2 which finally gives the solution as y is equal to log x by 2. Okay, we have found the exact solution to the IVP as log of x by 2. And what is the final thing to be found? We have to finally find y of 40, which means log of 40 divided by 2, which is log of 20. We don't have to exactly find the value log 20, but we have to find is it more closer to 1 or 3 or 5 or 7. Okay, so this is a logarithm with respect to the base as y, right? So let me try to compare this 20 with powers of y so that I can get some rough idea about the value of log 20 to the base e. Okay, what is the value of e? e is 2.7. What is e square? That would be something like uh, 7.29. Okay, I am approximating e by 2.7. There are some more decimals. That's an irrational number, but I can take the approximate value since finally I have to find just the approximate answer. So it is 2.79. Now let's just think of e cube. We have to multiply it 2.7 with a, with a 79. Something just smaller than 3 and the other number is little less more than 7. So while multiplying them, the answer will be little closer to 21. And since 2.7 is more on the negative side, the answer will be somewhat close to 20. That you can guess right. Not exactly 20, but close to 20. Which means e cube we can just approximate as 20. Okay, so what is log of e cube to the base e? That is simply 3. So we can get the value of y of 40 not exactly as 3, but being very close to 3. Okay, so that's our final solution. I hope you enjoyed the problem. Thank you for watching the video. In the upcoming videos, we will be solving the remaining questions. So stay subscribed and tuned to the channel so that you get notified when we upload the new videos. Okay, also follow the Instagram account and Telegram channel in order to get live updates. Thank you. Bye.